me, baby. I hope y'all doing good, cause I'm doing wonderful. I couldn't shake my head like I wanted to, cause they're in pigtails. But I couldn't be as loud as I wanted to because my mom is working from home. You know, I gotta have respect. Gotta have respect, honey. Gotta have respect, y'all. Because I like got motivated this morning and decided, bruh, we gotta be doing this, this, and that. I'm like, this is the perfect time to be, you know, catching up, grabbing y'all attention, while most of you guys either getting off early, going in late, or staying at home to work or not working at all or whatever so okay so i want to tell you about my hair um as y'all see then two pigtails i feel like my ponytails are getting a little longer maybe i don't know you guys tell me it kind of seems like it to me and these little fangs here um this is the second day of me actually doing my hair because i've been literally wearing a bonnet and I'm gonna show a clip of me doing my hair so probably here or here I don't know but yeah it's pretty crazy I was just being silly I was gonna make it like a TikTok, but I was just like I just look too rough like I look super rough but I'm gonna show y'all so it's just in between me me and you, me and you that's it but <clears throat> so my hair is actually eight months I don't know if I told y'all that before but my hair is actually eight months yeah I haven't been putting oil or anything in my hair. Um, it's starting to get warm outside, so it's really not winter dryness season anymore. But also, like I said, I haven't been outside. I've just been having a bonnet or like I'll wear silk scarves and then sleep super wild and then it goes off. And then my hair is just, I don't know, like kind of, I don't know if you have locks, but it like gets tangly and I have to like put my hand through it or whatever. Cause it's just like, it's almost like, to me, um, locks, when it's, you're not touching it, it's almost like webs. It's almost like webs can kind of get in between the lock because um, I guess it's a chance that they could all <laughs> combine together. So I was just like, bro, I need to chill. But um, if y'all hear a voice in the background, it's my mom. So I'm trying to talk over her. Okay, so um, I made my own little concoction. And as y'all see, y'all see this, like the um, water separated itself. So yeah, so yeah, so pretty much what's in my oil because I wanted to keep moisture and also um, I don't use a lot in my hair as y'all know I use rose water and um, uh, hold on, oh, that little mucus down the stuff. But anyways, um, but yeah, almond oil and um, rose water because that's what my loctician told me to do. This video was not supposed to be about my hair, but whatever, yeah, be I. So um, yeah, so in this I used avocado oil almond oil olive oil i put some rose water in there and that's it yeah so that's all in my mix so hopefully it keeps my hair moisturized i'll update y'all probably um next time so at least or maybe friday once my friday video because this is going to be my uh wednesday video so um yeah i will update y'all let y'all know because i actually put this on my hair on sunday so we'll see a couple of days if it keeps my hair moisturized or not so if i did a good job so yeah but anyways let's get into this hygiene because quarantine is really affecting the hygiene okay the reason why i say quarantine is affecting hygiene is one because they're out of stock with a lot of things in stores and stuff and two, a uh, person like me, since I'm not working or have really much to do, I literally been just laying in the bed. And it's like, it's so crazy how you can just be laying in the bed and start to like, I don't know, you start to stink. I mean, I'm just being real. And it's like, you're not doing anything, so how can you just start sweating or stinking or anything? Like, it's just so weird to me, but that's what happens. So guys, don't be like me and stay in the bed. Get your butt out the bed and yeah. So, but I take a shower and everything, um, you know, once a day, whatever. But like, I'm so used to like sleeping and then I wake up, take a shower, refresh, and then go do what I gotta do. But now I ain't got nothing to do. So my schedule's a little differently. Sometimes I'll take a shower in the middle of the day. Sometimes I'll take it at nighttime. Sometimes I'll still do it in the morning. Like I had literally just got out the shower before making this video. So yeah, it just kind of depends. So I wanted to tell y'all how I do my hygiene, pretty much like head to toe. 
So I already told you about my oil and everything. So I had like put my oil on my hair and did my hair before I went in the shower. Why? I don't know. I just felt a need to do that this morning. Um, so yeah. So I use this St. Ives Soothing Body Wash Oatmeal Shea Butter. Um, I do like St. Ives. I won't say St. Ives is like, um, well, this is like one of the new products I've been using like for a couple months now. But I really like it because I like watched this YouTube video and somebody had like used it. And I was like, let me try it. And I really like it. You don't have to put much on your towel to lather it or anything. Like it's really, really good. And I've had this, like I said, for a good while. And it's pretty much about done. So I like that. Oh, and then since... It is quarantine. I bought me another one because I obviously need to wash my butt. So, oh, and then I use, uh, well, not and I use, but I bought this one. This one is exfoliating body wash, sea salt, and Pacific kelp. So, and this is a bigger bottle. I bought this from um, Target, I think it was. Yeah, Target. Don't ask me how much it was. I don't know. So anyway, so yeah. Also in the shower, I also like to use my exfoliating gloves, um, and it really does good, especially if you feel like your skin is just feel really dry and just really icky, or you just been out there in the field or in the world just doing all types of whatever. This really helps. It's like really hear that rough. Like you really scrub your body really good with this. Um, it's really good. I like it. Um, I have two of them, but. All y'all need to see is one. Um, so yeah, that's that. Oh, and then I use Dove soap as well. I got lavender. I really didn't want lavender. I didn't realize I bought lavender, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, it still works well. Um, also, my body washes and my soaps, I do not use down there in my female area. I do not. So just disclaimer. Um, what else? Oh. I use oh this I got this from my wax center the so sadly my wax center is closed at least I think it's closed I don't know I'm not going though um, I you normally get waxed or whatever in my you know my happy place down there um, because I just prefer to get waxed because I hate shaving and all that other stuff but since they're possibly closed and they're not uh, Possibly clothes, and I'm not actually not gonna even go at all, just in general. I do have a waxing kit, and I am gonna make a video of me waxing. Not my happy place, guys, so don't get excited. <laughs> but my legs and my underarms, so I'm gonna do that, so that should be interesting. But, anyways, but this is actually from, like I said, European Wax Center, and it's basically body polish so like exfoliate the areas that you have shaved or you just want to get rid of those ingrowns and stuff like that because i had a really big issue with that and i noticed that you really need to exfoliate before i think shaving and waxing is both before you um shave and afterwards you need to do back and forth and it works very very well and I use Mitchum for deodorant, as y'all probably know, as my beginning video. I think it was my second video when I wasted all that deodorant. I was very upset. So if you want to go see that video, go check the video. It should be my second video of the day. It was like pretty much my worst day ever. Like, go check the video out. It's very funny and crazy. So, oh, and then this is also good. Tin Skin is actually... Um, for ingrown hairs, razor bumps, shaving, and waxing. This is actually was made for men. Because I had did a lot of research on it. Because somebody had told me about it. I think I went to like Ulta. And they were like, you need to use this. Da, da, da. And I've been using it since. And it's, it's really good. They have a different one where it's like a roll-on. So you just roll on. But I didn't. It's somewhere in my bathroom. But this one I have bought from Amazon. Because I need an extra solution. And um. Yeah, this stuff is really, really, really good. You can use it on all types of areas, wherever that you shave, that you get ingrown or different things like that. And this does well. And also, like, if you have any discoloring or anything, it works well, too. And um, here's some avocado oil that I did put in my little hair solution. And also, the reason I bought avocado oil is because, one... I went to Sprouts and they ran out of almond oil actually, but I did hear avocado oil is good for your hair and skin just in general. So 
So I used it on my face this morning after I used my little face wash. And I didn't bring my face wash, but I use, um, it's off brand of the Cetaphil. So I'll probably like post a picture or whatever, probably right here. Um, but yeah, I use Cetaphil or whatever, and, but it's the off brand. So it's just like a daily like moisture cleanse or whatever. Oh, okay. And I have a little brush, a little vibrating brush, but whatever. So yeah, I use that to wash my face. And, and lastly, well, second to last, ah, I use body butter for my, um, if y'all can see that, body butter for my skin and stuff like that because um, I have really, really dry skin, dress, I mean, literally from head to toe. Like, I have really, really dry skin, so like my lip feels like it's peeling now and I just put chapstick on it, but anyways maybe also dehydrating too so but yeah i use that i like thick lotions on me because it's just i don't like all them scented pretty ooh, <laughs> lotion no i can't do that my skin literally sucks it up you know what i'm saying same for my hair my hair just sucks it up so hopefully that oil works for my hair and hopefully well and i know the shea work shea butter for sure works well and this was actually handmade by somebody that my mom knows i don't know it says inner grow from the inside out whipped butter excuse me whipped body butter but yeah i like it okay now let's talk about your period yeah okay ladies um we gotta be careful because it's a lot of um feminine products that we have to be careful with our happy place down there. And I have changed a lot. I've been using this one. You guys probably seen it in Target. It's called L. So it's like, cause it says chlorine free, ultra um, thin pads or whatever. So I'm sure you guys what it looks like. So it looks like that, very thin. But I like these a lot. I actually brought the wrong one because I wanted the ones that were like tiny, tiny. So you can wear like a daily one. But you know, when your girl, your happy place does things that you're not aware of sometimes. So, you know. Um, but yeah, I like it because it doesn't have like fragrance. It doesn't have, it says no pesticides, no dyes, no chemicals, none of that stuff. And it comes a lot. It's 42 in this right here. It's like a lot. And I think it's maybe like $12, $13. I'm not really sure. Um, we have to just check it out. But I think you guys need to really change it. If you haven't already, just go straight organic when it comes to your happy place. Because that is an important place. Because then you wonder why you have, you know, your pH balance is um, off. Wonder why your periods are a little differently. Or a little, make, you know, hurting your stomach too much worse. Because um, I've noticed that it's changed um, my period and stuff like that. Like it makes it more soothing and everything. And then, what else have I noticed? It's very, um, well, the tampons. I use the tampons too, but I don't have any more of those. But the tampons, they're really good too. Actually, you can tell, like, it's actually much thicker, much thicker. And, um, I don't know, you can just tell it's very just light and just literally nothing. And it just looked like they got, like, a cotton ball and stretched it to look like, to look like a tampon and put a little string on the end. <laughs> So that's what it really looks like. Um, but yeah, I like it. And what else? But yeah, just make sure you being careful down there. So, and I've heard of like Diva Cups and like, what else? I saw this one advertisement, it's called like Flex or something like that. It looks like a condom or something and then you like put it inside and basically you like wear, you can wear it up to 12 hours apparently. It doesn't smell or any of those things, so. Mm -hmm. I never tried it. I thought that would be interesting, but mm -hmm. maybe y'all check it out and let me know how it go. But, um, what else? But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think, also, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you press that red button. If that button down there is still red, make sure you click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, click it. Click it.